Hey, what is the pillow? Welcome to it or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today is Tuesday the 14th of January, meaning that today, if you're from New Zealand and you're 11, 12 or 13, NCA results are coming out today. So if you're not from New Zealand, because I understand that I have a few international viewers, NCA is basically like our schooling system from year 11 to year 13, so basically your last three years of schooling. So today is the day that we can go online and see how we went in our exams, which happened in like... November last year. So I've just finished year 13 at high school, which means I'm going to university. Today is the day that I sign in and see how I went on my exams. So if you don't know how New Zealand, like, schooling NCA thing works, you do it in year 11, 12 and 13, so level 1, 2 and 3 is what they call it. And each year you have to get 80 credits. So say I do like an English essay that might be worth 3 or 4 credits. Some of the design ones I do can be worth up to 6 credits each. It basically just depends on like the workload as to how many credits you get for it. So you have internals and externals. So internals are stuff you do during the year, so like assignments. And then externals are the exams that you do at the end of the year. So you have to get 80 credits overall each year. For level 1 you have to get 80 credits. And you have 10 of those have to be from like English and 10 of them have to be from math. The year after that... You only have to get 60 because you can carry 20 out from the year before to make it 80 and same for level 3. When teachers mark your work you either get achievement or excellence like if you pass otherwise you just don't pass and don't get the credits. That can mean quite a lot of people who are trying to chase like merit and excellence endorsement which basically just looks better on your CV and can help with getting into universities if you want to leave school in like year 12 and then go to university. To get excellence endorsement in this particular subject you have to get 14 credits in that subject at excellence level, which is at the top level. So it like, achieves the bottom, then merit, and then excellence, like the hardest or the top mark. So yeah, the past two years, so level one and two, I've got excellence endorsement overall and got excellence endorsement in like a few of my subjects. This year, I feel like I could get excellence endorsement in one of my subjects, like art design, but I don't know because that obviously weighs very heavily on my end of year folio, which actually I haven't showed you guys what that is. So I'll chuck it in now so you guys can watch that. Play your song in our company. company. I always know the greatest things in life are free. So I invested my money in your company. Like where you wanna go, girl, I'll take you there. Let me put another flower in your hair. When I'm with you, I can't even have a care. Take all of my soul, I'm not afraid to say. Perfect, got like product and purchase Love like the breeze in these verses Put all the men in these hearses I love just watching you work it Splash on the beat and then surface Bring it to life and then mark it It has me losing my circus The way you moving hey, Everybody stopping what they doing Just to see the way that you be grooving hey, I made up my mind there is no choosing Choosing That's my jam. Hey. <laughs> 
basically you just have to brand your music company, basically make them up. So I kind of base mine off surfaces if you guys know what that band is. I have to make e-tickets, basically base it around a music video, logos, posters, bill no bill not billboards. Anyways, there were six briefs. To get excellence endorsement overall in the whole level, you have to get 50 credits at excellence. So yeah. I'm now going to sign in and see what I got. I'm not too sure if the results are out, but I saw my friend Lucy put on her Snapchat asking how everyone went at the NCA, so I assume that means that the results are out. You are not connected to the internet, that's great. I wasn't going to do this video, but I've seen people do them in the past, and someone actually messaged me yesterday, and they're like, can you please do this video? Like, I love watching them. I'm like, why not? So here we are. Um, login. Uh, I'm like nervous. I've been accepted into university, but it's provided on the fact that I pass. Because since I took like art design as a subject, that's like 14 credits. So if I don't, I mean, I should pass it. If I don't, then there'll be something really seriously wrong with me. It's not letting me log in. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, it's loading. <laughs> I got merit endorsement. Okay. Okay, so I got merit endorsement overall in level three, which means that I got 50 credits in level three at either merit or excellence level. Because if you get them at excellence, they still count for merit because obviously merit's at the lower level. So that's, that's good. But I don't know, I'm like scared, I'm like I don't want to look. Okay, wait, what? No way. What? 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 Okay. What? Okay. So basically, this is no shade in the teachers, but throughout the year they're like, yeah, you're on track for excellence, you're on track for excellence. <laughs> I just couldn't achieved in art design. So I got 14 achievements in art design. Dang it, I thought I was doing so well in that. So yeah, you guys would have seen that thing that I just did. Yeah, that got me an achieved. Danny, I wonder what Danny got. Oh no, that's so embarrassing. I actually thought I was gonna get excellent. That was so awkward. <laughs> um, right, English. <laughs> oh no, this is such a flop. Okay. <laughs> English. So English had two exams, right? Like two papers. One was with four credits, and the other I don't even know how much it was worth because I failed it. Oh no. They're both worth four credits. So the first one was respond critically to significant aspects of unfamiliar text. You basically have to read a text you've never seen before, like a piece of writing you've never seen before and answer like questions about it. I got an achieved. Yeah, so I just passed that one. And then I was writing about the book Othello by Shakespeare. I'd fail that. I've never failed anything before in my whole entire schooling life. <laughs> Way to end on a high ever. Woo! Mathematics and statistics. Okay. So that was probability concepts and probability distributions. And I got merit in both of those, which isn't too bad. So that's eight merit credits from that. Accounting. Oh, dang it. One was with five credits, one was with four credits. I got merit in both of those as well. And that sucks. I thought I was going to get excellent in those ones too. <laughs> <laughs> Last up is business. Four achieved credits. I feel like people watching this will understand how funny this is, but like... When you think you're gonna do well in something and then you don't, it's kind of like, wow, I was so far off the mark. Oh no, that is terrible. Okay, well at least I passed. I got merit endorsement, which is great. I need to blow my nose. It's running like something is shocking. Ma, do you want to come see my results? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you think I got overall in level three? I got endorsement. Merit. Yeah. Okay, what do you think I got in my art design folio? Excellence. <laughs> Achieved. Hey. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. What do you think I got in my English external? So there's two of them. Oh, achieved or merit? <laughs> achieved and not achieved. Golly. <laughs> Far out, yeah. Far out. <laughs> okay, statistics, two externals. Merit. Merit and both? Yeah. Yeah, merit and both. Yeah. Accounting? There's two uh, of them. Merit or excellence? Merit and merit. And business studies? Mm, merit. Achieved. <laughs> oh, golly. That's interesting. Your art one's interesting, though. Yeah, I thought those were interesting too. So did you get excellence in anything? No. No. So you're happy or not happy or? I'm a bit annoyed about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got excellence in my mid-year yeah. kind of checkpoint. I would have thought, if anything, you might have ended up with a merit. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then when I saw it in sort of a bit like yeah, photography last year. Yeah. But that's like... I'm going to put this in the video so that everyone can give their opinions on it and tell what they think. I mean, not that, oh, they're, right. not that they're the NZQA oh, markers, but... For most people, it's really important for them to realise that you've, you've got to give it your all right through the year and just not leave it. There you go, the guys. End. There we go. <laughs> yeah, because you just don't know at the end. Exactly. And I mean, your photography was a good one last year. 
Yeah. Because that we thought we're on track for excellence, and then when it comes through, it, it wasn't. So. Yeah. That's the problem with the art subjects, guys. Doesn't matter what your teacher says. It's about what the markers think. Yay! Done and dusted. Bigger and better things. So yeah, camera's flashing, but those are my NCA results. Um, I hope you guys did well. If you want to comment down below and let me know how you went, feel free. If you don't want to, I get that too. But yeah, apart from that, make some smile, and I'll see you on the next video. This is like. <sighs> I'm like shook. I really thought I had that excellence in art design in the bag.